Hey guys, so our file downloader library finally arrived. Just go to the link given in description and download it from there. If you download from GitHub, you have to unzip it so our file will be extracted in its destination folder which is dot sketchware slash uh, libs local libs so here is the option for creating folder you have to tick it because there is no folder in the zip file so here is our newly extracted library and alternatively you can download it from our app if you download it from the app you don't have to extract it it will be automatically extracted to destination now let's officially start the tutorial first of all create a project After setting up few things, select library from here. Now let's give it a basic look of uh, file downloader. To enter the link, let's add a edit text and to use as a button, let's add an image view. I want them on the same line so I will add a horizontal linear place them inside them and set up their margins with height size now go to events tab click on plus icon add import event go to github copy this import statement and paste it into your project Click on add custom variable and declare download service as download service. We should unbind the service when it is not being used. So I will do it at on destroy event of the activity. At on create of the activity, I will initialize the service and on clicking the button, I will start the download. So here we have two methods to start the download. This second one is for Android 11 or even if in older version you are using the content URI 
and this first one simple this is for simple download it takes three arguments link of the file file name and path where you want to save the file and then i will add string variables for path and file name there are other ways to do that but just for demonstration i am adding them at on create So here I will add file path and file name from string variables and get the URL from edit text. And I will create a more block. Inside it place this block which is designed to be placed in a more block. And also here, when starting the, the download, I will check if download service is not null. Then start the download, otherwise toast download service was null. At this point, if you compile apk and try to download something, it will say download service is null. It turns out that you have to declare the service in manifest. So go to android manifest app components and paste this code which declares the service. And after declaring the service in manifest, it says download starting download but it is actually not doing anything it seems we are missing required permissions and also i forgot to add a slash at the end of file path we need these four permissions I will add internet and access network state permission from here and to manage read write storage permission I will simply add this block here. Now our app is working fine. It does not show any progress or success message but if we go and check in the file manager there we have a file that test.abc is actually an image because i have placed a link of image let's rename it from test.abc to test.jpg so there you can see this is the image so that's it today's video ends here in next video we will do some cool things such as adding progress adding success message and downloading files in android 11 you can even directly download files through android slash data folder using that library i will teach you how in next video so stay tuned